As I said before, I hope everybody out there is doing good and great. I'm doing good myself. I hope everyone is keeping your hands washed, sanitized, wearing your face mask, and basically staying out of the way. Before we jump into this reaction video, just let me say, just in case your post notifications is not doing what they're supposed to be doing, I do is that you hop in your whip, you know what I'm saying? Hop in your who ride. Go ahead and take that cruise on over because I do have them reaction videos up loaded also y'all let's check that notification bell make sure your notification bell is set for all of however you choose to have it set also y'all let's check that subscribe bar make sure it's set for subscribed and not subscribe because y'all already know at the end of the day yes youtube will unsubscribe you as i always say before i jump into my videos my thoughts is my thoughts and yeah all yeah all that in that way anyways y'all let's jump into this reaction so today, y'all, I am coming with a, you know, I am coming with a real quick video, okay? I want to talk, um, Chris, baby mama, she emailed me and, you know, was just kind of chopping it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just was trying to ask a few questions that a lot of people be wanting to know, but, uh, the thing of it is she didn't even know, so... I just want to hear her out, and I told her whatever she wants to say, you can say. And, you know, as me being, you know, um, a baby mama, and however I know how it go, and I said that before in my video, y'all, so why, you know, you get mad, you get frustrated, you can be bitter. If if you see your baby daddy, not just at her and about, but trying to be all up in a camera, on social media, on the internet, in these YouTube streets, you know what I'm saying? Doing the most, okay? When I say doing the most, doing the most, but ain't doing shit for your kid. Girl, I get it. I understand. So, with you coming out here and just want to call him out for who he is, and saying this person that he is trying to play or act as if he is on these YouTube streets just to say that it's not him, that it's not it. He do not take her as kids. He do not stay on a job. He do not have a job because he do not want them, the people, to pull that money out of his check. Well, that's just saying he just got a a, a daughter that's out there that he just don't want to take care of, you know, and I, I ain't cool with that. You got kids, you need to take care of them, okay? You brought them in here, yeah, do what you need to do. So, I'm just going to go over this email message. And I told her after that, girl, we're going to clear it. We're going to let it be. You have told us more than enough, more than what we need to know on my end. So, I'll, you know, hey, you can always come back and leave your comments or whatever you want to do. You are always welcome over her in the la la land or gang or fam or you know what I'm saying you are always welcome so don't never hesitate if you feel like you want to speak up about something or you you notice something that he did something different and you just want to vent a talk you can always do it anyways y'all I'm going to get into that uh it was just a little email you know just telling me a little bit about Chris but knowing that she really <clears throat> As of now, she was just saying, like, she don't really know a lot, you know, but she try to keep tabs on him just for the, you know, for child support, really, you know, because you got to know where he at. When I'm saying, girl, if you know where he is right now, jump on it, okay? Even though he don't have a job still, jump on it, okay? Because, hell, <laughs> you ain't going to be out here playing like, you know what I'm saying, you somebody else stepdad and you ain't helping me better yet. I'd rather for you to be behind bars because you're not paying the child support. You get what I'm saying? I don't think I'm wrong for that, but it's better than me seeing you on the internet, <laughs> you know, all in your, yeah, in the intro and, you know, over her cooking and getting the kids together and doing all this. And my daughter don't even really know you, okay? She only got to communicate with you through a video chat or something like that. That's, that's crazy. So anyway, she was basically telling me um, how she knew about the situation with Chris and Jazz, okay? It's not that she known from Chris because she don't even fool with him like that. She don't even talk to him like that, period, okay? So, y'all remember a while back when Chris first came on the scene and he was, um, he was, um, uh, he had just came on the camera, just began talking to Jazz. And y'all remember Lipstick Alley, there was, uh, supposed to have been a friend. Y'all remember that? Her friend. She was the friend of the baby mama. 
And I believe this is the one that went back and actually told her everything that was going on for us. Chris is out here dating this YouTuber. She say, like, Papa, YouTuber. Jazz, you, well, Jazz can go far, okay? But after this stuff right here and the stunts that she pulling with, 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 the dry big and people gonna get tired of that. So she gonna she gonna not go so far because people gonna start leaving her ass stuck right where she is because all the stupidity that she is putting out here. So anyway, so I believe that's the same friend that got on here and was saying, you know, uh for his uh Chris dating the YouTuber and just knowing all this different stuff, okay, about him. And we seen that on Lipstick Alley, y'all. Uh about that, the friend coming, trying to put Chris on blast, you know, yeah, that way. Um, basically, y'all, that's basically what she was saying, um, and I will put it here so y'all can kind of read it with me, you know. Uh, she was just saying, my friend is a c close family friend to Chris' uh, sister. They have the same mom and different dads. Um, <clears throat> I lived in Austin with Chris for a short time. Where I'm at for a short time after our daughter was born. Then I returned back to California. I have remar remained <laughs> close to this friend and she kind of keep tabs on him for me because he's always moving around and having different jobs. And see, that's the thing. You need tabs because if you if you are trying to go through child support and do all this stuff, you need to know like where he at, what he doing, all this type of stuff so they can catch up with his ass, you know? Yeah. That way, especially when he ain't working and doing shit. Um, she also said for me, because he's always moving around and having different jobs. Well, that probably was back then he was having different jobs, but right now we know he ain't doing shit cause he's still running from, from what he owes to you and your daughter, okay? Um, so once she finds out, once she finds out if or where he's working, then she tells me so I can tell my lawyer or the uh, California Child Support Division to garnish his wages. Well, shit, ain't shit wrong with that. You got to have somebody that's in tab with something. And it's crazy because sometimes the courts be thinking that you know or do you know somebody that know him or can tell him something. You know, Tell them something so they can find them. But most of the time by them trying to look them up by their social and all this type of stuff, sometimes it be hard for them to find them, y'all. Especially sometimes with these guys. Once before they check the money start, they check start getting garnished where they pulling the money out. They try to switch over to different jobs or leave that job because hell just because they don't want to pay. Um, <clears throat> so once she finds out or where he's working, then she tells me so I can tell my lawyer or the California Child Support Division to try and garnish his wages for the current and back child support. This case right here, Chris is going to be on for a long time. Your daughter is going to be good and grown, and his ass still going to be paying back child support. That's if he ever have a get a job. I'm just saying, brother, get locked up or get a job, okay? Yeah, that way. Um, Try and garnish his wages for the current and back child support. That he owes. She said that she saw something about Chris on IG with a new girlfriend. This well-known YouTuber. Hell yeah, she well-known. But she also well-known for being broke. She also well-known for dry-begging. She also well-known for, yeah, talking to these type of dudes that's always getting locked up or in trouble behind some type of something. Mm, we'll get into that, y'all. Um, I keep losing where I'm at. Chris on IG with a new girlfriend, this well-known YouTuber. So I looked her up on IG and she said her YouTube channel. So I went snooping around. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? If he ain't out here taking care of his kids, it's okay for you to go look and see who talking to your 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 bum baby daddy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um <clears throat> Around, I was shocked to see everything and wanted to set the record straight. It's okay to be shocked. And it's okay for you coming out expressing yourself. Because I be shocked too. Like, man, you ain't over here doing nothing for my daughter. But you, what? You over here with not one kid, not two kids, not three, but four. Yeah, and they drive begging mama. Hmm. But shit, I guess. 
I, y'all always say I be saying one plus one equals two. So he ain't got a job and he ain't got shit going. And Jay's over here struggling off of YouTube, dry begging her subscribers for everything. So I guess, hell, they meant to be probably <laughs> um, everything and wanted to set the record straight. It was very hurtful to see what type of person he was portraying of himself. Yeah, he came on the YouTube streets like he about it. You know what I'm saying? Like he loved the kids and, and, and like he is for his kids. And then he will always say like, you know, he don't show his kids. He don't do that. But he never talked about the kid that he don't take care of or that he have somewhere else. And, you know, having seen, he never spoke about that. Mm. And see, that's the thing with getting on YouTube, y'all. Sometimes, and I said it before, y'all get on here like, oh, yeah, YouTube is da, da, da. But once these people start reading your life and you start getting exposed, don't get mad, okay? You should have just came out and said what you said from the get-go and they would have had it understood like, yeah, well, we already know about this situation. But they too busy trying to keep everything in the dark th thinking it will not come to the light. Um, <laughs> portraying of himself, especially with the kids who aren't his. He does nothing for my daughter. And see, that's the sad part, y'all, for my daughter. And, 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 and Jazz, if she know about this, she should feel less than a woman because I feel a certain type of way. If I know this guy got a whole daughter out here, ain't doing shit for his daughter, but he over here with my kids trying to do the most. No, you're going to have to take care of your daughter. You're going to have to get your kid. You're going to have to do something. I'm just saying that then y'all want to talk about marriage and babies and girl, bye. Uh, <laughs> where was I at? Daughter, I have no idea how long they have been dating. We do not speak really. And if he ever calls or video, I just put my daughter on to speak with him. That's how I be doing with my kid. When when they daddy call, I be like, I don't want to talk. I don't need to say hi. You call to talk to your child. Boom. There you go. You don't need to see me. You don't need to talk to me. You don't need to. Yeah, none of that. Just talk to your kid that way. <laughs> um. Uh, to speak with him. It is a lost cause at this point. Try to ask him for any financial help. So we really have nothing to discuss, especially his dating life. I don't believe he is a gang member. So a lot of people were saying that he was a gang. They was thinking that he probably was a gang member because he wore red all the time. But she not for sure if he is because like she said, it was younger. They was a little younger then. So she don't really know right now. What, what's the purpose of all his damn red, okay? <laughs> um, so we have really nothing to discuss, especially his dating life. I don't believe he is a gang member, but he is from East Austin, grew up in the projects there, and has a lot of friends and family and criminal activities. So, hey, it's no telling, y'all. It's no East Austin <clears throat> grew up in the projects. There and also had a lot of uh, friends and family and a criminal and criminal activities. And I think I just said that, but I lost where I was. Um, so it would not surprise me if it would not surprise her if he was a gang member, y'all. She really don't know because from the time that they dated was kind of back. So what's going on with him now? She not really sure. Um, but she said he was very controlling, but never abusive to her. So controlling, we get it. We see that with Jazz, believe it or not. So if she can confirm that he was very controlling, <laughs> it's confirmed over there. Um, we were very young when we were together, right out of high school and college. He does have a very hot temper and angers easily. His mom had a lot of anger management issues with him as he was, let's see. Let me go back real quick. As he was growing up, he got into a lot of trouble in school as well. I know he has a background there in Texas. Well, we seen a lot of the background for us, the records and stuff. Uh, but it was after we were together. So I do not know the details. And 
He never tells me anything like that. He always have different girlfriends and places he stays, never his own place, which she told us that in the threads before she already told us that. Um, never has a job longer than a month. Damn, that means every time he knows child support is about to hit, he go ahead and throw them the deuces like I'm out. It's just such... I couldn't want to be, I, I couldn't be with nobody like that, y'all. Then, how Jazz sit on her platform and talking about she want to have a baby and we going to have twins. You going to be stuck with them kids by your damn self and he not going to help you and you think you struggling now? Girl, you going to be struggling real hard after that. I'm just saying. Um, that's his way of escaping the child support garnishment process. So, yeah, that was basically it that she wanted to say. Um... And like I said, a lot of this she had already expressed in the different, you know, comments that she left under my um, video. So it was just a whole sum up. So after that, y'all, I am done with this Chris situation. Basically, we know who he is, okay? Jazz can get on here and try to fool us like we dumb. But guess what? We already know. And what gets me is she come on and she'll say... You know, she's going to stay positive. She's not going to let nobody uh, bring her down. Who the hell bringing you down? See, that's where you got it all confused that nobody is bringing you down, but that God that is with you and your damn self. Y'all two are the only ones bringing you down. Everybody else trying to give your little slow, slow self some, some type of advice. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to hear none of the clear up now because guess what? She don't know how to bring it to the people, okay? She knows she done got on here and she lied. She also lied about him and everything else. So her best bet right now is just to say, I'm going to stay positive. I'm not going to let nobody bring me down. I'm just going to ignore all the negativity. It's crazy because at first you didn't ignore the negativity. You liked it. You liked it to bring it to the YouTube streets. You like to bring it up front so everybody will know. But now that we over here calling out this boo, this zaddy, this everything that's supposed to be all good and this and that. But girl, if you got his baby mama on here telling his whole life, like I said before, you can't say none of her thing. So if I was you, I, I, I think I'd sit up there and say, I'm going to stay positive and I'm not going to let nobody bring me down neither. Yeah. But before you say that, you need to look at yourself and look at the one one that's in your household. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he don't keep a job. So why you saying Chris is gone to work? He he never been gone to work because he don't work. So you need to explain to your subscribers why the hell you lie all the damn time. Explain that. And that's not letting nobody bring you down. That's not, um, that's not, Bringing up the negativity. It's clearing the air, okay? It's it's explaining why I have lied to y'all about everything that I have said for is Chris having a place. And we know he don't have his own place. About Chris and his having a vehicle. He don't even have a damn vehicle. About Chris being at work and he working at a job. I remember the last time y'all I got on here and I was talking about Chris wearing this damn red shirt and black shorts all the time. And somebody told me that's his uniform for work. Well, shit, where the hell is he working at? Because he don't have no damn job. He don't work at all. So when Jazz say he gave her gas money, girl, where did he get it from? I'm just saying. See, now we know that you got this guy living here. So all them Crown Royal bottles that he got, you paying for that. You know, you paying for that and it's making shit short on your end, okay? Because you paying for shit out of the ordinary when you know, hey, how you normally had to provide for your family. But when you get another grown ass, no good, don't want to help, bum, yeah, you struggle. So, again... You ain't got to clear it up. Continue to stay positive. And people will continue to call you out on your shit. People will continue to see you for who you really are. Yeah, stuck on stupid, period. That way. Ain't no other way. Anyways, y'all, that's it for this video. If y'all like this video, let's throw those thumbs up. And if y'all have not, as y'all do subscribe, because it's la la. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,